Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be unboxing another package. And this is a PSP lot that I purchased online from an auction. And this one has taken a while to arrive. And it says priority mail today. So I'm not sure why it took so long, but let's just dive into it, shall we? There we go. And this is a pretty large box. I don't really remember buying something huge. A huge lot. So this might be a waste of space and materials. So let's take a look. Hopefully there's no virus in here, right? Might as uh I should get some gloves or something, but I will wash my hands after I'm done with this. Yeah, this looks, uh, this looks a little weird. Uh, throw that in there, and here is the bag. And everything else is just trash. Okay. Hopefully, this is nothing. There's nothing damaged. Frame. Okay. All right. So we got a case here, and this is a Intech case. Intech does a lot of cases, um, so we'll take a look at that after. Here are the games included in this nice lot. So let's take a look at the games here first. We have the Twisted Metal favorites. Head on. Very good. We have Pirates of the Caribbean. Not a big fan of this movie. Jumanji. I am a big fan of this one. I love Jumanji. And this one is rattling inside. Uh, looks brand new to me take a look at the other two. My battery is dying here soon, so I better wrap this up. So it's used. Everything is included. Twisted metal. And that looks brand new. Or it, I think this is a replacement UMD disc case. Next up we have NBA K11 with Michael Jordan on the front. Pretty cool. And this one was at Goodwill for $1.99. Next up, we have the NBA 11, The Show. Looks brand new. And we got another sticker, weird sticker. Then we have the Atari Classics. This is pretty sweet. Wow, look at this case. It's like clear. That's custom, right? That's pretty cool. Another Goodwill sticker. Always have Goodwill. Well, just a couple. It's kind of weird. Here we go. Another Sega Genesis collection. Nice. Oh, let's take a look at the disc. Looks good to me. And then we have Bobbitt's Basic to Boogie. What the hell? Set step up your dribbling skills with Bobby Bobbitt's basics to boogie. Be first to the court and last to leave. Okay, it's boogie. This looks brand new. <laughs> That's a weird and this beauty Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. This is the number one game that sold on the PSP. At its peak. And it's not even in here. What the? F oh. <laughs> Give me a. Hopefully it's in the system. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Boom. Yeah, I got I got the stuff, man. That was a bad impression. Hey, I got the stuff, man. I got $20 million. No. Shouldn't say that. All right. Looks like you can have a game on the bottom. 
memory cards or whatever. Boom. <sighs> Is it in here? It's not in here. Damn it. No Vice so Stories. No Vice City Stories. But here is the PSP, and this one was sold as is, and it does have no battery, or it doesn't have a battery, sorry. Uh, interesting. I'm going to have to test it out and see what's going on with this. Hopefully it does charge. I do have a charge battery on this one, though, on my 3000. Get out of there. Let's give it a shot. Boom. Where's this battery dead? Oh no, this battery's dead. Well, we'll give it a shot here later. All right, so we're gonna test this PSP 2000. And I do have the battery in here, but it's dead. And I have the cable ready to go. So let's see if it charges. You should see an orange light. There we go. Now let's power this on. And hopefully we have a good screen. There it is. This unit is in somewhat good condition. Don't really see too much going on. Oops, sorry. Uh, looks okay. Let's take a look at the system settings and see what firmware this is on. And I'm going to have to cover up the MAC address, as always. And oh, look at this 4.01 with M33 2. And yeah, the address is shown. So that is custom firmware, old school custom firmware. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's go back and let's see if the US or not the USB drive but the UMD drive works. And I'm gonna try this Genesis collection, Sega Genesis collection. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so it is spinning. I kind of feel it and hear it a little bit. Do apologize for my fans on in the background. It's just I have my heater running. Just it's a little cold. I had my window open earlier. Hmm. Not really hearing anything. No VSH menu. So that means if I turn it off, hard power it down. Let's see, is there a memory card? No memory card. So let's hold the right trigger, power it on. We should enter recovery menu. see UMD mode currently on oh so it says M33 driver no UMD so let's change that normal so UMD required okay and that should that should really help us determine if the drive works or not let's go back and exit and this will reset the device and hopefully it works that way if I can sell it or whatever or maybe have it for a giveaway that'd be kind of fun too Try this again. Hmm. 
Mm, still not getting anything. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do some more investigation here on this uh, model, but that is it for this one, guys. This lot was pretty good to me. And it's always nice to have a screen that's working. That way I can replace any of my other uh, other pieces in my collection that need it and you know use parts as is as I go on uh, collecting different pieces so yeah that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one